what is going on guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 video guys today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at some of the salary cap players we're going to take a look at specifically the quarterback position this is kind of going to be a little bit of a spin-off of my budget series from the uh, ultimate team edition but basically what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at quarterbacks that are under 75 dollars now obviously quarterback is one of the more expensive positions so we're starting off with kind of a little bit more expensive players but there are players in this that are actually pretty cheap, under 25,000 coins even, that you can get that are really, really good even salary cap wise. So what we're going to do guys is count down the top five guys that are under $75. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Starting off at number five, we've got Peyton Manning, the throwback card from Madden 25. A lot of you guys remember this from Madden 25. Really, really solid card. Um, has a lot of great throwing attributes. Now, obviously, it's Peyton Manning, so you don't expect this card to be the most mobile card. And it certainly isn't. It's, it's definitely not one of the fastest quarterback cards in this game right now. But what he does have is those throwing attributes. When you take a look at a Peyton Manning card from years past, it's almost always going to have high accuracy, good throwing power, all of those types of things. But where it really makes this money, guys, is the short and medium throw accuracy. It's got 95 for throw mid, 98 for throw short. And even if you want to go deep, it's still good in those attributes as well. He has 92 throw power along with 91 throw deep. He also is really good in a couple other areas that are important Throw on the run is an 86. Now, granted, you're not going to throw on the run all that often with Peyton Manning, but if you're moving with him at all, if you're you know moving to your right to kind of find an open receiver and get a better angle to throw the ball, that throw on the run does actually come into effect. He also has a nice play action attribute as well at a 90. That's one of the highest that you're going to see in today's edition, but Again, guys, the the place that Peyton Manning is not good is running the football. His carrying's low. He's got a 65 for carrying, 61 agility, 33 for elusiveness. But those attributes that you see on your screen right there, the 98 throw accuracy short and the 95 throw accuracy me medium, make him one of the most accurate quarterbacks that are in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. So he's definitely a good card to get on your team for a 70 cap. That's pretty low for a card that's this good, 94 overall, and he's not all that expensive either. He's only 30,000 coins, so most people can certainly afford him. Definitely try this card out, see if you like him, and uh, comment below, guys, if you guys have tried out this card, and let me know what you think about his price for salary cap as well. At number four, we have another really nice, very accurate card, and this is Matt Ryan, Campus Hero. Now, he's actually going for 74 for a cap, which is kind of interesting because that's a little bit higher than the Peyton Manning, which was at 70, but he's actually less expensive in Ultimate Team. He's going only for about 20,000 coins right now in Ultimate Team. Now, this card is a little bit more mobile than Peyton Manning. He's not extremely mobile by any means. 75 speed, which is only 6 higher than Peyton Manning. But he does actually have 88 acceleration, which is kind of interesting. Quite fast for a quarterback card. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting about this Matt Ryan that I really like is that he's actually a little bit better at throwing the ball deep than Peyton Manning. He has 94 for a throw power and 96 for a throw, a throw accuracy deep. Now, where he does actually fall a little bit behind the Peyton Manning is that he is a little bit lower in throw accuracy short. He's actually five lower. What I will say about that is that a 93 throw accuracy short is still going to hit most of those short passes, but he also is going to be able to do a great job throwing the ball deep, and the throw accuracy mid is actually the same as Peyton Manning. He actually has a 95 in that area as well. His throw on the run is a little bit lower than Manning at an 80, but he does have really, really great play action. 94, which is the highest that you're going to see among any of the cards in today's video. He also has the highest carrying of any of the cards in today's video, which is going to be interesting because we're going to see some more mobile cards as this video goes on. But with that said, guys, 74 points for Matt Ryan. Really, really good card. Try him out. At number three, we've got one of the most balanced quarterback cards that you're going to come across in this game this year, at least at this price range, and that is Blake Bortles' Campus Hero. It's going only for about 16,000 coins on Ultimate Team. He is 74 for a salary, which is a little bit expensive when you consider the fact that there are other cards that are more accurate, but 
the combination of speed and accuracy out of this Blake Bortles card is really, really nice. I definitely like this card. Um, one of the things that I think that people don't really look at and wouldn't consider with Blake Bortles is that he is actually pretty speedy. He has 84 speed with 86 acceleration. That is really, really quick for a quarterback. Now, granted, it's not up there with your fastest quarterbacks, your, your Vicks and things like that. But he is fast enough to be able to do the job most of the time, get down the field, pick up those first downs when people don't set a contain or don't have a huge spy. This card can definitely do the job and get some big yardage for you. So I really like that about it. The other thing about Blake Borles is that he still has good throwing attributes. He's got a 95 for a throw accuracy short, 93 throw accuracy mid, and a 90 throw accuracy deep. 90 being the lowest of the cards that we've looked at today, but it's still a really good attribute. Definitely not something to just overlook by any means. I mean, he actually has the highest throw power of the three cards that we've looked at so far in today's video. He still is solid in all of the other areas as well. 86 for a play action. Not the best, but certainly not bad. But I think the big thing about Blake Bortles, like I said, is that he's just so balanced. The speed combination along with the good throwing attributes is just not something that you come across very often in Ultimate Team. So I really like this card. It's super cheap. Like I said, you can find him for as low as 16,000 coins. The one that I have on the screen right now is 22,000, but you can definitely find him cheaper. At number two, we have a card that I don't think is going to surprise too many people, and that is the Ultimate Freeze Marcus Mariota. I talked about in the last card that we want a card that is balanced as both a passer and as a runner, and that's definitely what Marcus Mariota can bring to the table. This card has crazy speed and really, really good throwing accuracy attributes as well, and he's also got a cannon to be able to get that ball deep to his receivers. So Marcus Mariota, first things first, 91 speed, 93 acceleration. That is a really nice combination. He's quite a bit faster even than the Blake Bortles, which I said was really quick as well. So definitely Mariota can get the ball down the field with his legs, but he also can get the ball down the field with his arm. 95 throw power, 88 throw accuracy deep, 88's a little bit on the verge of not being quite where we want it, but still good enough most of the time to be pretty accurate, but he still has a really nice throw accuracy mid at a 96, which is very, very high, and a 94 throw accuracy short as well. The nice thing about the Marcus Mariota card too is that he has great throw on the run. He has a 96 throw on the run. So if you are somebody that likes to scramble around with your quarterback and you move around with him a lot in the pocket or take off and run with him, he is certainly going to be able to throw the ball accurately while being on the run. This card's only going for 25,000 coins right now. It is a 74 as well for salary price, but still a really, really nice card. I definitely like this one. Great agility as well. A 94 agility, 87 elusiveness. It, it's just, it's a really solid card at just about everything. The one area that I think he really lacks is play action. He's only a 77 for play action. That's quite a bit lower than what you want it to be. But at the same time, he makes up for it in so many of the other areas. So I don't really worry about it that much. He typically is going to do a really good job for you. And if you run a lot of play action, you're just going to have to consider that the guys aren't going to bite quite as hard. So with that being said, Mariota number two, definitely a great card. And last but not least, we have my number one card for under $75 here in salary cap at the quarterback position, and that is Tom Brady, the 96 overall Road to the Playoffs Master Reward card. This thing has amazing throw power, throw accuracy, everything like that that you would look for money in those attributes. And he is a little bit slow. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This is not a mobile quarterback card, but what he does in the pocket is just ridiculous. This card is one of the most accurate cards in this game. 99 throw power, insane. He also has 96 throw accuracy short and 100 throw accuracy mid. Most of the throws that you're going to make in this game are going to fall in that mid-range. So having a 100 throw accuracy mid is obviously a huge advantage for you. Now, now, he does only have the 93 throw accuracy deep, which is a little bit lower than the Matt Ryan that we looked at before, but it is higher than all of the other cards that we looked at. And when you consider the fact that he's also got the 99 throwing power, it makes a lot of sense. Obviously, Brady is one of the best cards in this game. He also has good throwing on the run, and uh, he's pretty much good at everything. The, the play action being a 92 is really 
high as well. But like I said before, if you're running with Tom Brady, this is not the card for you. You'd probably want to go with either the Bortles or the Mariota, which are a little bit less expensive as well. This Tom Brady card does go for about 175,000 coins, somewhere in that range. So it is expensive. But when you talk about a card that's going to get you this type of throwing accuracy and throw power, it's hard to pass it by. I mean, if you have the coins to spend, definitely consider this card because he is 70 points as well in the salary cap. That's cheaper than most of these other cards that we've looked at today, despite the fact that he has better accuracy in just about everything and higher throw power than everybody. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let me know, guys, what are some other salary cap cards that you guys like in this year's game? What position do you want to see next, and what salary cap range should we be looking at? Thanks so much, guys. Talk to you again soon.